ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. Justin Bieber, man. Justin Timberlake. What's your favourite, Justin? Timberlake or Bieber? It's fringe, man. I need to sort it out. I need to go down to fucking Turkey and get some rapid fucking... Blah, 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 blah. Trannies, plants on me fucking can. Or else just fucking shave the can. Grow a beard and start lifting and get some mad tats. Do you know what I mean? So we have absolutely no one in the chat. Ah, we've got someone in the chat, man. I was going to do a, a live stream on Instagram. But I thought, too many fuckers watching. Oh, Lee Murphy. You're not a fucking cracker. You fucking Lee Murphy. You have the hand sanitizer, do you? Ah, oh, Jason McPartland. Hey, see, lads, I keep coming back now. I know you're there. Do you know what I mean? Ah, uh, fucking Seanine. Fucking Seanine knows the crack up in Chicago. He's watching, isn't he? Check out this, man. It's some cheeky, cheeky way, way men. You've got one minute till the train comes. Check out this, man. It's a dream tram. A tram of dreams? Up there, you can see the... I see the train are coming. It's rolling round the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since. Well, fucking earlier on today, actually, but... You know, I should be all up in this biatch. Shall I jump in front of the train for the crack? Uh, I enjoyed last night, man. Last night was good crack. Fucking twisted hippie. Woo! Living at large. I got crack yesterday at uh, live streaming. It's got a three-hour compendium of hanging out. Fucking Christian Ronaldo's in town. Danny O'Neill. All right there, Danny, bye. Chaos. We fucking had some good fucking... We had a good old spin last night, man. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, there's a lad wearing a mask. He's the man behind the mask. Got a double fucking hammer here, man. But I'm going to get on the front of the train so I don't have to skirt around. See if there's any fucking cutie cues on the power train. I've got this little spot for myself. What do you think of this? Basically the Lewis. See? It's grand, isn't it? Got a few looks there from Mince Pies merchants. Ah, the speed of it, man. I'll tell you one thing. Cannot beat it. It's made by Bombardier. Do you like the seats, man? This, they've had the same seat cover since I first came to Sweden. There's the globe. That's the church of Gamblestan. An old ferry, a bit of Ishka, stairs at night, trees, a motor car, a castle, don't know, and the globe. Oh, Statshuset. Statshuset is like the, uh, it's the bee's knees of buildings here in Sweden. So how's the crack today, lads? Do you know where I'm going to? The pub. Oh, oh, oh. i tell you what I do. I drink pints you guys. The pub. We found at the pub. Fucking jeans, man. DNA, you know what I mean? Any crack with you boys, no? Ah, fucking Lauren Cavanaugh. I like that. I love how you're doing. See, it's nice to do these face to face jobs because, um. That lad. Oh, you book up. That lad's got strong quads. Um. Cider or lager? I had a bit, of, a bit of a touch of each, mate. I uh, went to the old uh, merchants of beverages and got a couple of couple of bottles. And uh, hey, Shawnee, mate, going to Vistrums, the Irish bar. Look at that car there. Ooh, you're odd. But um, yeah, it's nice to do a couple of these little streams as well uh, until the webcam set up. Maybe I might get me. <coughs> I might just oh, shit. I might just invest in a really uh, expensive camera setup. You know, just I like, put myself into debt and then just get lads to super chat me on Streamlabs and I'll be like, don't want to give no money away to the tax man, baby. No, no, please don't take it and piss it away on silk shirts and bottles of wine for bastard politicians. Maxi Darwin, man, how are you doing? I, I'm very yellow. I, I, you know, let's see if I can white balance this bad boy. Hold on. Do a bit of a white balance. I might have fixed it. Did I fix it? I don't know. White balance. It's what fan fancy camera boys do before shooting. Coin makes more coin, Liam. Do you know what? It's one of the fucking best. That's something you and me always agreed on. A lovely contrast of the beard and the hat, bro. Thank you very much. All right, man. And lads, you know what? You're on. You're on the. You're on the private fucking. No one else knows about this channel, and I kind of. I kind of like it that way. It's nice and cozy. There's only a couple of boys, man. It's exclusive. Yellow Aki. Oh, right. 
some fucking birds going on home and so I that lot there. Yeah, there must be chungans. They're wearing like mad jackets and shit. I was, I was going, for, I walked around uh, the shops a bit today and was looking for, um, I was looking at some, uh, some words. I nearly bought myself a pair of like Nike uh, Max and I was looking at them and I was like, these are shit, man. You can see the fucking glue of some, where some lad who didn't want to be there was just sticking all this shit together for a pittance. And then I was thinking about Nike and I was like, how dare Nike pontificate for the rest of us? Oh, Liam, mate, you're a fucking juicy character. Thank you very much for that. That's very kind of you. Liam Murphy fucking so it's the brother old man, you know what I mean? Now the bird flew into the coop back there, hey. Glue gun, yeah, Maxi Baby. That's exactly what it's like. It's just like just lads gluing fucking shoes together, and I mean really. You know, like 120 quid for a pair of Air Max. You're kinda of thinking Nah. nah. I'll show you what I got a couple of years ago. Those lads. Doc Martin boots man. Should they cost me a few bob like but uh Buy cheap, you buy twice. And uh, I got them the day of the... Pair of ...proper pair of boots, and uh, it was dry, man. It was dry. DT trainers. You, hey, Max, do you remember fucking Ascot? Class shoes, hey. Got them up in the greenies. Times. I remember uh, <clears throat> when, we were, when I was about 17, myself and Kinsella and the Kennedys. Two lads we used to hang around with, who we used to call the pussies. They didn't know that, but they used to um, they used to be really under the cosh by the mother. They were like, Raymond Riley, you fucking made it, by you made it. I told Raymond Riley there to join the fucking channel, hey. but uh, we were all it, when it was snowing back in 2000, we all went, we took a piece of corrugated iron, a big big strip of it, and we all went down the hill, standing up and surfing it. Before told us balls had dropped, and he was like, mine, surf the cunt. But uh, I was wearing a pair of old Ascot that my ma had bought a few years previous, and uh, it's all it's all on it's all on the camera back home. Fucking twenty years ago, that one. But uh, everyone was just like shining a torch. We had a, we had one of those ever ready red torches, and we we're shining to see where we we're going in the dark. Headlights on a toboggan job, and uh, they just decided to keep shining it on my white Ascot, so like a pair of fucking bathtubs, and they were like, ha ha, look at the Ascot on him. And I'm like, yeah. I'm hardly going to wear a pair of fucking Ralph Lauren loafers up here on this hill. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, good times, man. Good times. How's Raymond Riley getting on in the chat? Listen, lads, give the like button a smash there. Do you know what I mean? Just They always say smash it as if to say, you can only do it once. Do you know what I mean? Just hit, gently tap the, uh, the like button once there, please, lads. Oh, we got someone did it. Play. Come on. Get up to 14 there, lads. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Oh, we got four, yes, keep it going, keep it going. You're nearly there, get up to 14. It's just a fucking touch of the button, man. Unless you're watching it on... Hey, Jason McCart, of course you did, mate. Max Dart, of course. Oh, I've got five now. Share the love, man, do you know what I mean? Because the algorithms will be like, ooh, you're odd. I'm like, yeah. Who are they? <laughs> so, yeah, so, uh, how, how's quarantine treating you, bras? You living life to the full, or how's that working out? Raymond Riley's in Cavan, fair play to Danny O'Neill, fair play to you, man. I've got eight likes, fucking 16 viewers, man. I'm going to take you on a trip onto the, uh, on the Pantera guy. I haven't seen you in ages, man, how are you? You scared? No, COVID-19 coming. Well, you know, I'm not scared, man, because I knew the shit was coming back in January when I seen mad videos coming out of Wuhan, California, of um, fucking Chinese lads just passing out on the street. Then you get that shit over in Iran, and uh, also fucking Italy. So uh, I guess there'll probably be lads just passed out on the street here soon. Going, fuck. So uh, there's an awful lot of uh, videos popping around up on uh, Messenger and all this crack of like, there's one video saying you can cure COVID-19 by getting a spray bottle and hair dryer and just blowing it up your nose for about 10 minutes. Or a sauna. But the thing is with the sauna, I always thought they were breathing. Fuck me. Which you fucking wished. Someone needs to squeal, squeak. Fucking oil or squeaky wheels, man. Did you ever get a fucking squeak job? Some women over there. Oh. So yeah, I'll take you on a bit of a spin through the old tunnel. Who's got oh, cooler, man? 87. Get right in there. On the run. Coke's a bit. Ah, oh, it's gone. Rum and Coke's. 
Oh, Kev Johnson, Barrett, turn it off, that for you. Yeah, turn it off. I heard your fucking live stream at the fucking Wembley Stadium with David Icke and the boys. David Eichenborough. Look at this, lads. I got five on it. Give the nod to you on. Joke here, Laura. Kev Johnson, stay away from you, Brighton. Oh, they are max, lad. Go to fucking RJ's. Now known as Last Players Lounge or The Players Lounge. I went in there once, back in 2006, after coming back from New York. And I listened to some of those ignorant fucking Klims arguing over Fiverr. There was actually, you know, you know it's bad when there's a fucking chip shop in a, night, in a nightclub downstairs by the toilet. And uh, these fucking bellends were uh, talking absolute shite. And I thought to myself, fuck me, I was in New York a couple, about a month or two ago and I'm in New Brighton. Who the thunk? The new Brighton man, it's been a, a lot of big changes. He's got a Morrison's down there. Just have the Whittle Show down by the fucking dips, mate, you know what I mean? Used to ride me fucking mountain bike for the fucking knocked over. Got knocked over and was 12 on a bike on my way to Skazool. He just placed third. Who did the fucking Vapor did, did he? Oh man, 17 viewers, man. Do you know what, man? Fucking give another like, lads. Give another, give another little touch. And if you've got a few fucking quid rattling around, my fucking job was in old super chat, I'd be like, ooh, encourage that. Because if, if uh, fucking Google see I'm, I'm bringing a bit of, do you know what? I think that's how it works for them pricks. If they see people are bringing money into Google, it'd be like, ooh, let's tell more people about them. Then they get more money for mm-hmm. us. I don't know why they're all talking like they're fucking working for the journal.ie with that kind of conceit of, ooh, I went to, I went to Trinity. Ooh, both of class. I'm like, yeah, mate, yeah, you think you're fucking great, don't you? You know what I mean? You think you're a big fucking bunch of fucking righteous brothers. But I'll fucking put me... No, I won't say that, man. Nearly threatened sodomy on half of the uh, the liberal media elite of Ireland. Apparently, um, we read a comment today on YouTube, so that's gospel, that um, media is in the top three of psychopathic jobs. I always knew media was in the top ten. You've got law enforcement, clergy, surgery... Uh, media, banking, CEOs, chefing, politics, and there's one elusive one. Fuck it. But, uh, yeah, man, g- fucking g- give us your location there, because you, you see a couple of lads doing that, you know what I mean? It's a bit of, gets the chat going, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Anywhere from that fucking Colgan lately. I was going to, as I said, I was going to do a live stream on the... Uh, on Instagram, but it's like too many people on that. You know what I mean? It's like, I like to keep it chilled with the fucking boys, man. It was nice to see yesterday that there was, there was a comment there saying that this was, this is really good crack. Oh, fucking Shawnee, man. Media and psychopath. Oh, finance. Oh, I said banking. I'm sure law, law. That was the final one, law. I mean, like if, if you got lawyers who are gonna defend nonces and fucking absolute scummers for money, you gotta be a fucked up person to do that kind of stuff. Sure, advertising has a load in it, but that kind of comes under the umbrella of uh, media. I have a, gave a shout out on Twitter. Nice one, Liam, fair play to you. Graham Russell, Dublin City is an absolute empty tonight. How is it, where are you at? Fucking people out, man. I mean, have a look around. There's, there's people going about their business. Out to North Bory. That's where a hand grenade went off in a bin last year in North Bory. Killed some fucking bystander. An owl fella walking past the bin. Some dickhead had just put a fucking grenade in outside a police station. Blew your man to bits. Ah, Sweden. It's fucking changed, man. I think I was probably one of the dodgiest people in Sweden. Me and the lads I came over with. And uh, now, now I'm just a fucking country gent. Or as my mate would call me from Chile, El Gato Campo. Which basically means the country cat. And I love that. How many minutes we got here? We've got three minutes till the power train comes. That's have a little chill out with you, you know what I mean? But uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts on Twitter, lads, and the people on Twitter? I think Twitter is a very biased place where if you look at the top chats, it's always very, uh, it's always very biased. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not. A, I think social media should be public utilities at this stage, where um, they should be like the town square, where people have like, you know, they can challenge each other's ideas and just have like a free flow in conversation without being fucking regulated. Stay safe, guys. Fair play to Raymond Riley. He knows the crack. Oh, the crack. Owen is doing a lot of ads. He rolls out of bed with 50 stuff. Oh, mate, he's fucking coining it in, man. His name is Owen Advertisement Merchant Colgan. 
A lot of fake news. Oh, oh, word. Sweden, far more lively than Chicago. I wouldn't go that far, Sean. You know, who fucking but lively enough. Lively enough. So, uh, has anyone been any fucking shopping riots in London yet? That's, uh, it hasn't kicked off yet, but it will do. Will do. And then the army will be called in then, and that will be the excuse to keep people safe and also erode your liberties. I heard something interesting today. There's a guy called The Last American Vagabond. He seems like a sound character. His videos are a bit too long, man, because he just goes on fucking live stream to raids. Fucking Avril Lavigne job. I want to know about his socks, man. Should we look at the socks? I don't want to do it. I don't want to get rumbled. It's a train of dreams. It's kind of like the Titanic, the ship of dreams. But, uh, it's not going to hit an iceberg. But, um, yeah. Where, where was I? What's this point here when she's like a crack? How are you doing? Say hello to these lads. <laughs> Sound woman. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the train, train's busy enough, man. You know what I mean? It's uh, enough people out. It's, look, look, they're having a great time. They've been drinking grown-up drinks. Just living life to the full, man. Do you know what I mean? Just living life. So, uh, yeah, you know the crack. Oh, yeah, that was the thing about this corona shit. Do you reckon it came out of uh, a weapons lab, a bioweapons bio lab in uh, Virginia called uh, Dietrich? And, uh, yeah. So a couple of steamboat willies on the fucking on the go, man. A couple of steamboat willies. Oh, hey, hey. Liam, something me and you always agreed on, lad. Just go and have to pure. Hey, hey, Pantera. All I can say is fucking revolution is your name, man. Christine Mel. Hey, Christine Manuels, man. Ranaldinho jab. Now we're talking. Bit of Pantera. Pop black. Pop kettle black. Hey, looks like an expensive hat you're wearing. Do you know what? It's a Swedish hat, yeah. <laughs> Bought in TK Maxx in Castle Bar. I was like, I'll have that. And I go back to Sweden, like, glue, shelled out, big wedge on a fucking meaningless beanie cap. And everyone about this going. So that was the idea. It's working out well so far. So so far, so good. Uh, don't be afraid to hit that, that, uh, the old button in there. Eastwood, first person shooter, the main man. How are you getting on? The boys, man. The boys. It's a good crew, lads, man. I like it. You know, lads and lasses. The two L's. Steamboat Willie. Your man's fucking big out of his unconsciousness. But like, fucking, fucking, a couple of fucking, a couple of lootioners, like, do you know what I mean? Two fucking lootioners. They're a consolation. What was it like doing Vikings? That was good crack, man. He looked after me on that. Um, some some days were sweet, man. I turned up, didn't you know, to do anything. Just togged out and then was like, right, you um, you don't need to go out. And uh, after ball balls with your man, no, he won't be going in nowhere. He's going nowhere. But at least he's getting pop. But I doubt he'll be blowing the beans. Because he'll have no sensitivity in his bell shaft. And I should know, because I've been there before. I've got fucking the Discord group is going 5x12 with uh, Sean, fair play to you. You're on two fucking platforms at once. Catherine Winnick, I'll tell you one thing, I met Catherine Winnick, right? Uh, I went out to, to get the old head. Stuck, up, stuck a load of uh, silicone on my head to get the, the mould of it. And then later on I was talking to Dee, the makeup girl. And then Catherine and Winnick walked in. And uh, she was like, hi, who are you? Who, who are you playing? I'm like, ah, oh, V-Grid, man. He gets bumped off after like an episode or two and uh, she was like okay cool nice to meet you and it was like sorry could you leave now and it's like yeah will young job in it man you know what i mean i think you better leave right now but someone gets bombed ah the old blue check mark twitter crowd i fucking love this man what do you think of the blue twitter check mark crowd like it's something i never managed to get but uh i'm glad i didn't know because uh they just seem to be fucking daft cunts, most of them. Still, uh, still waiting on the old Instagram blue check job. But uh, I, I haven't really been on that lately. Uh, meeting two veg, but I thought, fucking Shawnee knows the back of his cargo. Is it snowing over there, Shawnee, or is it just kind of cold and... 
Okay. Frosty. Okay. Also, yeah, fuck, uh, you, you can't no, but hey, Christian, it's, it's a fucking waste of time. Raymond Riley, anyways, yeah, yeah, anyways, yeah. The lads at the top of the pyramid, they created COVID. They wanted to dismantle economic systems. Iran got a good doing. Iran got a good doing. Why? Building seven job. Yeah. Pretty much. Can you speak any of the Swedish lingo? Ah, absolutely. I can tell it sounds like something under the sport. I missed the Dolium in live chat. Train looks like the Liverpool Southport train. Do you know what the mate? I haven't been on the Liverpool Southport train since I was on a save when I was a kid. Now I can't get the live chat. Yeah. I'll just have to look at this. Chat away there, lads. Mersey Rail. No the crack well man. No the crack well machine, mate. Tell you one thing, when I was 16, I went down to Devon to, to hang out with my brother-in-law Henry's mate Ben. It's great crack. And uh, it was just like a surfing trip when I was 16, and he took me out to real nightclubs drinking pints. And uh, it was the first time I'd ever bought a woman a drink. And uh, I went, there's a beer. She went, cheers. I went, what's your name? I can't remember, it was that long ago. And uh, she goes, cheers. And then just turned around, started shifting some fella. And I was like, last time I ever buy a fucking woman a drink for about 15 years. Probably not, I don't know. I white balance this again. A bit better. These boys here, they, uh, they keep the streets safe, man. For bad cunts. So, fair play to them. Um, yeah, so anyway, I come back from the trip from Devon. But I'll tell you something very funny, actually. I was hanging out. Uh, fucking Mike Fairley in. You're, you're back again, hey. For Ross's. We're waiting here. So I was really excited about this trip to Devon because I was going to be surfing. And your man Ben let me drive his car on proper roads. And I was only 16. I had no idea how to drive. And, um, when we were, you know, I had good crack, but before I was going down there, I was looking, my uncle Martin, who I was working with, was uh, he was pissed off that I was going away for a few days, and someone said to him, <laughs> he goes, "Is that this fucking lad here, man?" Oh, awful, awful deaf and excited. And he goes, "Who's he going to visit?" And he goes, "I don't know, some bisexual down in Devon." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically, I come back from, from Devon, I'm on the way to Liverpool, and uh, I get into Lime Street Station, and come getting the train over to the Wirral, and uh, some, some lad with two cans of Skull Super comes up with a, one of those pink and purple lined bags, really tightly wrapped around the cans, and says, man's about 50 odd, and he goes, Hey mate, have you got any gear? The head's wrecked. And I just said, Zami. So, true times, man. They're out the boat. <laughs> Kev Johnson knows the crack, mate. Got on these stripes. Kiss a baggy skull super. I remember I was hanging out with a lad called John Halewood that same year, and a load of lads asked me and John, because we were like 16 and these lads probably about 13, 14, they asked us to go to the off-licence in uh, Wallaty Village and uh, John Halewood goes, have you got any dollar? And the lads coughed up the money and then <laughs> gave us like £10 and then John just legs it and he goes, come on. And I was like, that was a bit snidey. And he was like, look mate, we've got a five at each now. I was like, yeah, but it was pretty snidey on those young books. I also remember one of them kicked the football and it hit me in the face. And I was like, I let it slide. But at the same time, I was like, that's what they get for kicking a ball in my face. It was a proper Casey. And here guy, no other crack. I'll take it through the old gamma stand now again. The old town. Fucking oh, had a few looseners. Absolute looseners of all the The looseners continue. But um, if these, if these lads with the Trunchonians behind me from keeping the fucking streets safe, um, they might come up and be like, why is he talking to himself on a video? And I'd be like, it's my twin, who's also in Gamblestan, wearing the same gear. But um, I don't think that's going to happen. Of course, uh, Purple Aki's going to come. What's your favourite U2 song? Our fucking New Year's Day, man. Fucking Bono, man. Nice class. Apparently he's very generous. His uh, his one charity um, apparently donates a whole five percent of coin to his charity. A couple of oh, 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 oh. do you know what I mean? Like uh, oh, 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 oh. 
They're all out in the boat, man, you know what I mean? They're all out in the boat. They're all short as women out in the fucking hole, man. Shout this is my... <laughs> this is my town! <laughs> <laughs> That do the job, does it? Gonna chuck your lower action back there. Maybe the truncheon lads are gonna come and the man and the woman are gonna fucking truncheon my orifice with the <laughs> fucking make it fairly. And I mean, Gamish Dan, man. In a few years' time, you can come out with me and drink some big boy drinks. We took your we took your brother out there one night, and there was a few boys on the dust, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> He didn't know what to make. Dusty roads jab. Dusty fucking roads. Don't tell me. Ho ho ho. You know well the crack with the fucking the Dirk Meister General. Did you ever give a woman the sterling? Shit man, this video's gonna go into private mode. It's a fucking joke, man, do you know what I mean? It's a bloody good laugh. If I take a little snidey piss around this corner. Oh well, got away with it, mate. Ah, oh, that's why I took on the pub. Wouldn't know who be lurking on corners, man, do you know what I mean? Wouldn't know what kind of lurking steens monsters would be just fucking cruising. Fucking, there they are, man, they knew I was going to fucking minority report job. They knew I was going for a piss. Fucking Tom Cruise and the woman who just lives in the pond and she's in fucking pain all the time and they use her for her telepathic ability to see shit that hasn't happened yet. I might go for no piss down here, lads. Fuck it. Go for the old Corona piss special. There's a fucking boy behind me and I'm like, get to fuck now. Oh, the fucking green and red mayo. I can see it still. Soft and saggy bogland. It's massive fucking rod. But the ocean kisses Ireland. And your mum is... I was going to say something crude there. I was like, nah. It was just the rhymes that came into my fucking can. Check out this moody street, man. Fucking Brett the Hitman heart job. I was actually looking up WWE, or uh, fuck WWE, man. WWF. That's the fucking business. But I was looking up uh, the Ultimate Warrior. You have to see this video he's done, which uh, was like a promo where he's talking to Hulk Hogan. And uh, he's like, Walk with me, Hulk Hogan, to the shadows. You were on a plane by conventional means when you arrived here. WrestleMania! And all this kind of stuff. I'd say the fucking steroids got them in the end. Look at this for a cosy little dungeon. Wow, it's a hotel, man. And not any old hotel. A hotel of absolute victory. Ooh, the collector's hotels. Victory. Bit of lamp work there, man. Look at it, it's well fucking posh around here. Louis the fucking 16th job, yeah? Oh, Victory Conference. I'm coming to Camden Stand. Mike, I'm going to the old fucking pub, man. Don't V-Streams, man. Do you know what I mean? You don't get the quality taking a piss streams anymore. Do you know what, Pantera guy? You've got, that's something me and you always agreed on, man, because look at this place. It's called Tweed Comfortable Bar. The Burgundy. Who's in there? A couple of folks there. Oh, oh, oh. Flick on the, the kitchen is called Flick on Flick on the bean uh, Which basically translates to uh, Girl in uh, Swedish uh, I think Joe was at Vistrom's Tell fucking Joe I'll fucking I'll be scooping with him now in about two minutes I hope I go past O'Connell's Which is like a pseudo Irish bar That has a load of lads just playing Shite you, oh, I'm not going to slag the lads off. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll go past for a look. I'll show you this, man, you're going to love it. There'll be a couple of boys with flat caps and ponytails and fucking waistcoats just playing, <laughs> just playing fucking bazooki. Is it open or closed? Oh, God, it used to be open, but it used to be owned by two extreme rabbis. It's been closed by, on account of being... Did you hear the crawl there? Did you? Colgan's always on about crawls. Oh yeah, man, fucking bit of this again. 
bit of this again. I just do a bit of filming when I go in for the crack. But then the owner's there, man. He might be like, why are you doing this to us? What's wrong? Look at this fucking job. Sticky Nicky, man. Look at the eyes on that cunt, man. Fucking pure spaced out of it, man. Fucking grabbing the whole fucking hemorrhoids. With oh, these fucking coochie coos. Smoke nine bowls, you know what I'm saying? Fucking shit, man. Any jam bams, man? I wish there was jam bams over here. Because I'd be snacking on them mars like a fucking fat lad eating a loaf of fucking pudding. Let's, uh, let's see what the crack is in here. They won't be closed tonight, boys. There's a good crowd in, man. There's a good crowd in. We've got fucking. We've got to take a little look in, in the pub, man. In the pub. Fucking. Sheedy in the boys. Mm -hmm. Sheedy in the boys. How's it going? How's it going? I'm acting. Well, he can be very fucking happy because. Hi, man. Ah, the boys, boys. Top of your life. Good to see you. Hi, man. Couple of boys, man. That's too bad. Say hello. Woohoo! Right, uh, come here, come here, lads. I'll, uh, I'll love you and leave you. Good night, good bless. And uh, hit the old like button and uh, you know the rest. Chat to you later, lads. Do a bit of streaming tomorrow. Good night, good bless. <laughs>